Well, this is a dish of fillet of cod with red wine and lentils. And the thing that makes, I think, the sauce, apart from the red wine, is there's quite a lot of spice in the red wine sauce. Not sort of curry type spice, but just lovely sort of British spices with a hint of curry as well. But first of all, let me cook the cod. So I'm just going to do this under the grill. And this is a really simple way of cooking it. Just want to point out these are very nice fillets of cod. You can always tell cod from its sort of slightly yellowy greeny skin. Some fillets of fish are very difficult to identify as fillets but cod is quite clear. So I've just put a bit of vegetable oil on my um, grilling tray and then just season with salt and pepper on both sides. Now rule of thumb with um, grilling fish is it's about 10 minutes to the inch, so that's 10 minutes to, to 30 millimetres. So this will go under for about 10 minutes. Right, there we go. Cod, now for the sauce. Now also with this is, is red wine and lentils. I've already cooked the lentils. I just simply boiled them with a bit of uh, red onion and some uh, bay leaf. I cook them very, very slowly until they're gone very soft. One of the big mistakes with lentils is to serve them when they're a bit too al dente, a bit too tough. You really do need to take them down till they're almost a mush to really enjoy them in my view. So now the sauce. So the sauce is first of all some butter in a pan with some vegetables, some very finely chopped vegetables. So first of all some celery, when I say very finely chopped, just like that. The reason I'm chopping them up very finely like this is I want them to cook down very quickly. I am going to strain them off afterwards. I do want to get extract as much flavour as I can from the vegetables as quickly as possible. There we go. It's a little bit hot. Throw them into. Give them a good big stir with my wooden spoon with a hole in the middle. So just let those fry very relatively gently while I add the spice. Now I've got various spices to add. First of all, and I've ground these all myself because I think if you buy pre-ground spices they're not quite as sort of aromatic as the ones you do yourself. First of all, a good pinch of ground cloves, some allspice berries, good pinch of those. Next some nutmeg, That's smelling really good. Finally, some curry powder. I would say curry powder is more of a condiment than a spice. It just adds that sort of smell of what we in UK know as curry. Of course, the Indians don't really understand what curry is at all. It is a very much a British thing, but it's almost like a spice in its own right. It's not trying to emulate any Indian dishes. So a pinch of curry powder too. So just cook those down a little bit more, drop the temperature bit and now I'm going to add my red wine about 100 mils of red wine this is a um, Chianti it's good to have quite I mean in this sort of you don't need the best red wine but it's good to have a sort of halfway decent one just bring that to the boil a little bit and the other element here is about 500 600 mils of chicken stock good now I'm just going to wait while that boils down and you let all that reduce in volume by about three quarters, as much as that. Okay, my um, seven, seven minutes is up now, so I'll just have a quick look at the cord. That's looking very, as I like to say, very lovely, but we'll just give that a bit of a temperature check now, see what the middle of it's like. And we're on still only about 30 degrees, so we'll give it another three minutes and look at it after that. Now then, taste this. There's one element I forgot, as I always do. Often a very good idea when you're making a red wine sauce to just add a little bit of sugar. Red wine sauces are always a bit more acidic than you think they're going to be, so just a pinch or two of sugar would be very nice with that. Little taste. Yes, yes, that's coming down very nicely indeed, but it's not reduced enough yet. Just put a tiny bit of water in my lentils because they are coming down a little bit too quickly. Take the bay leaves out now, I think. 
good. So the last little thing I need to do is to make what I call a beurre manier. This is to thicken the sauce. I just take some butter. This is about 50 grams of butter and a good shake of flour. And then I just manipulate those together. So that's beurre manier ready to go. Now about this dish, I think it's a dish that will surprise people because I don't think many people consider fish is something that can be served up with a red wine sauce but in fact I do quite a lot of fish dishes with red wine sauces and it, they're very popular. It also gives you a chance to serve some sort of light red wines like maybe a young Beaujolais or a young Pinot Noir. Go very well with this dish. Okay, have a look at the fish now. Do keep an eye on your fish. You, it's such a great way of cooking fish this because it's quite, it's quite, it takes quite a while and you can really judge it. Now what I'm looking for is a central temperature of about 60 degrees. And on this slightly um, thinner fillet, I'm there already. Uh, so that would be about 10 minutes. But the other one needs to go in for a bit longer. So if you're doing a, a, a dish like this, I, as I said, I think grilling it is, is really sensible because it allows you plenty of time to get it right. So we'll just keep that there for a second. I'll put it back under the grill to warm up a slight bit. Now the sauce, that's come down far enough with the vegetables. So we just need to get a, a sieve, pass that off into a bowl to get rid of the vegetables, which I no longer need. Just push those down a bit with a spoon. Extract as much of that spicy flavor as I can. And then back on the heat. And this is the final phase for the sauce. It's got a nice sourness from the wine, slight sweetness from that bit of sugar that I put in there and an unctuousness already from the butter that went in there initially, but I'm just gonna make that much more so now with this beurre manier, which just allows you to thicken sauces as you want. And of course, richen them up as well with the butter. So I'll just let that cook for a little bit longer. Get my other piece of cod out of the oven, which will be fine now. Just pop this one back in again for the last bit of a heat ready to go. The sauce is ready. You can hear the way it bubbles that that's ready to go now. Look at the unctuousness of that. And as I keep saying, sorry if it's becoming an old bore, but you want a sauce that coats the back of a spoon and that is coating the back of a spoon very nicely. Out comes the fish. Yes, yes, yes. I think what I love about cod like this is its whiteness. So onto the plate with my fish, with the with lentils. Lentils like this have got this lovely earthy taste. Go very, very well indeed with red wine. And finally, my sauce. Don't want to totally smother the fish with the sauce, but you want to cover it a little bit. And there you have it. Grilled cod with red wine and lentils. <laughs>